Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play Geneforge 3. Well, we've cleared out a couple areas recently. Not too much in the last recording session I did, but I shouldn't even bother talking about them. Let's keep going. Let's uh, head to this ambush bridge. My my, an ambush. This is going to be fun, I imagine. Ugh. Let's see. Donald's Keep Pass northeast, Fort Wilton southeast, Linnell Mines to the west. Linnell Mines. Hmm. This shop has only been abandoned for a few weeks. Some rogues took the time to wreck it. Nothing but bones in there. A couple of remains back here. Some coins, an iron shield, crystals, heavy boots, nothing of use. Huh, looks like someone set up a trap back here. Wonder what is in here. Sure, use a living tool. Ah! A spirit! Fortunately, easily done. Right, what has been guarded in here? Ivory band, plus two armor, plus 25 poison resistance. Now we can sell that. And four lovely crystals also can be sold. What else? Uh, essence pod. Steel gauntlets. Nah, not as good as the miner's gloves. Spray crystals. Nah, ruined onyx. That'll be saved. Well, that's not too bad. It's a nice little discovery there. What else we got up here? This looks like it's the river that is probably... yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be the river. Ah! That must be where the ambush would be coming from. Or maybe not. These serviles are not attacking us. There's a small group of serviles sitting here by this fire. They are cold, shivering, terrified, and half-starved. Their robes hang loosely on them. You can easily see that they aren't armed. Three of them won't speak with you. They just aren't calm and coherent enough to form words. They are heavily built, probably minor serviles made for strength, not speech. But one of them is smaller and calmer, with well-made dexterous hands. He was probably made to do crafts or to be a scribe. He stands up, bows unsteadily, and says, I, your servant, Shaper, I, I crim, I, I... He is unable to speak. He is too tired and frightened. Do you servile as no Kaplan? He asked me to find you. Krim falls back onto his long, shaking with relief. Oh, Shaper, you're not going to unmake us? We lad, we know Kaplan, Kaplan kind, Kaplan good, not sin to hurt us. I've been so scared, scared of bad serviles. Come to us, talk to us, alone, hungry, not know what to do. They tell us things, things that scare. Where are you from? Who are your masters? From there, he points to the west. Flee workshops from there. I was copying scrolls, given pen, copied markings. The others, they pump bellows for Smith. Masters, masters were lost. Monsters, they got them. What did the other serviles tell you? So many things. Different serviles telling us different way to be bad. Some come with markings here, he points to his forehead. And others come from there, he points to the west. They tell us things, things that keep us from ever being safe. But that is what we want. Be safe. Want Shaper to give us commands. Tell us where to go. Tell me about the serviles with markings on their foreheads. They come from upriver. They... they strange. They have blades. They say human commands fight them. Makes them strong. Say we should come join them. Live in mountains. Fight. They strange. They frighten us. So we stay away. I think we've already killed all of those. Tell me about the serviles from the west. They were strong. They have swords, armor, tell good, like people. They say we can be free, never do what Shaper say, fight Shaper. But we like Shaper, we not want fight Shaper. Why can't you ever be safe? They both say same thing, they say we... He struggles to remember the word. We infected, we have bad ideas. Shapers destroy us, not let us live with other serviles and be happy. That is not entirely an unjustified fear. Some extremely, unusually strict shapers would kill these serviles rather than risk the chance of such ideas spreading. Such measures would be unusual, though. 
Uh, hmm. So, we can tell them to go back to Fort Wilton, we can tell them to go west and try to be free, or we can tell them that they have to be destroyed. All honesty, I think you should go west and try to be free. The Serviles seem confused at first, but as they try to get used to the idea, they start to smile. It is clear that Krim found the rogue Serviles more convincing than he told you. Yes, Shaper. Had thought other Serviles, they spoke wise, but could not think Shapers could be wrong. But you say we should go, so we should go. We go now. Thank you, Shaper. We go find... We go be find way to be free. Alwyn looks at you strangely. He can't believe what you just did. The Serviles pack up their few belongings and begin the journey. They don't look back at you as they depart. Going back to the fort might be safe, but... Like I said, I stand for servile rights and servile freedom. Them being free, I think that's what should, it should be. This bridge, the only safe way to cross the river for miles around, is guarded by three human soldiers. It is clear at a glance that they aren't entirely suited for the job. They are exhausted, barely on their feet. Their armor and weapons are of high quality and they are well trained, but they don't look like they have slept for days. They stand and watch the bridge as if they expect an attack at any moment. They aren't so distracted, though, that they fail to notice your approach. One of them, apparently their leader, bows to you. Ah, a shaper. That is good to see. We have a had a lonely vigil out here. I am Vander, and I hope you have come to relieve us. We're going to be attacked at any moment. Tell me about this area. There isn't much. Just some ruins and a bunch of lost serviles. And the bridge. We're ordered to watch the bridge. Anything interesting in the ruins? Don't know. They're up there. Vander points to the north. They haven't been ruins long. There were they were some workshops just a few months ago, and some monsters snuck into them. I'd stay away from there, though. Alchemists work there. Who knows what nasty stuff they left in there? Yeah, we already cleared it out. Don't worry. Lost serviles? Yeah, they're camped up north by the river. They're quiet and unarmed. They keep them themselves. We don't bother them. They don't seem like a problem. They're real quiet. Yeah, we've already spoken to them about that. Vander tries to pay attention to you, but he is constantly distracted by the need to watch for attackers. He is also fighting a mighty battle to maintain consciousness. How long have you been out here? I'm not sure anymore. A month? Wasn't too bad until a few days ago when the monsters got here. You're about to be attacked? He looks across the bridge again, and you can see that Vander and his men are barely holding back panic. If there is an attack, they will probably run. I don't doubt it. There are monsters out there. We saw them sneak up in moonlight. Big creatures. They're out there now. We hear them sometimes. They must want the bridge. No other reason for them to be here. So we wait for the attack. Their staying is hopeless. I'm sure of that. Have you sent for help? Of course. First thing we did, there were four of us here before. But we haven't had anyone arrive to help us yet. Maybe the message didn't get through. Or maybe Fort Wilton can't help us. Or won't. How long ago did you see the rogues? Three days. We haven't had any decent sleep since then, just catnaps. We have to be ready. They could surge across the bridge at any moment. And then... What is your plan when the rogues attack? I... we... fight, I guess. I don't know. Looking at how terrified these three look, you strongly doubt that they will be able to stand and fight. If the attack comes, stand fast. I will help you defend the bridge. The soldiers are dubious at first, but you are very convincing. You give them a rousing little speech designed to get them to help you fight. Yes, Shaper, we believe you. We are very tired, but we will try to help you kill the monsters. Okay. Be ready in case the attack comes. Yes, Shaper, we are ready. Alright, I imagine there will... As you start to cross the bridge, you smell a strange scent in the air. It's very faint, but Shaper senses are trained to detect such cues. It is the odor of creations, born on the wind from the west. You pause and watch. You don't have long to wait. You hear growls and the sounds of creatures crashing through the underbrush coming from the west. Rogues are approaching. Alwyn grips his sword, eager to dispense justice to some rogues. There, that should help. Come on, rogues. I know you're coming. There they are. Oh boy, this is going to be a rough fight. 
Uh, maybe not as rough as I thought. Well, it'll still be rough. Eh, that thing's gonna die in the next turn. Ow! Uh-oh. Ah, crap. This could be bad. Okay, we can at least kill one of them. Two of them, actually. Ah! Crap. Okay, give me a minute while I get all the way back there. Before I go take care of the bridge, I'm just gonna take a quick look at what's down here. Although it looks like there isn't really much down here. Ah, there's their camp. This must be have been where the soldiers guarding the bridge were sleeping. Okay, that makes sense. Oh look, thorns. Regular thorns. We have absolutely no need for those. Okay then. Right. Here we are. Alright, this time we'll wait for them on the bridge. That should be long enough waiting. There they are. Let's let them come to us. Just like that. That'll hurt that. That'll hurt that. Oh boy, the rogues are coming. Fortunately, some of them are coming closer, which is good. There, there goes Beta. Ow! Oh boy, those cryos are gonna be hell. We need to take care of them. Quickly. Oh jeez! A thought is what- holy crap, there are a lot of these creations. This is gonna be rough. Okay, that one's dead. That one's dead. Good shot. Nice shot. Can you get to- you can't get to it. Great. Oh boy. There we go. That's at least poisoned. Ow. Okay, you? Nice shot. You need that heal. And now get closer to them. Good. Good. This is gonna work. This is gonna work just fine. There we go. We almost got this. Looks like there's just two more to take care of. Ow. I think we're gonna do it without any deaths. Which is gonna be great. Can't reach that one. And eh, no biggie, we'll get it next round. Just like that. Okay, I think that's all of them. The rogues have been defeated. Vander is shaky on his feet and he looks like he could use some serious first aid and about 50 hours of sleep, but he is very pleased to have managed to survive. Thank you, Shaper. Thank you for your help. Without you, we never would have had the strength to defeat the creatures. But this bridge clearly can't be held. I will rush back to Fort Wilton and let them know that they need more soldiers out here. We will get there and back as soon as we can. Good luck, Shaper. If you need more supplies, help yourself to everything in our camp. He points to the south. The journey had best begin while we still have daylight. He begins to march as quickly as he can back to the fort. And we leveled up. Good. And, yeah, this is great. Oh, and there's a sword, too? A shaped blade. Another one. Nice. We can sell that. All right, let's go get what we can from their camp. There wasn't much, but I think there were a few healing paws that we need. Yeah, and an acid baton that we don't need. Healing pods, more important. Okay, level up. What are we going to improve? Well, we have six skill points. I want to be able to carry more, so... Yeah. We're improving strength. Bam. Now we can carry more. I really want to be able to carry a lot. There. Now we can carry up to 122 pounds. Good. Just what I wanted. Okay. Now there's more to explore here. See what we can find and all. At least we took care of all the rogues. That was a nice battle too. This must be where the rogues were hiding. All the nests and such. Uh, ooh, major healing, major healing spores, coins, and living tools. Awesome. And in this one, gemstones, singing rapier, plus two to quick action, plus one to parry. 
That's impressive, but it does half the damage of a regular shaped blade, so I'm not gonna bother. And not gonna bother taking those. I mean, it's good, but we could use the damage. Uh, coins and an armor potion. Submission thorns. Sure, we can take those. Okay, looks like... Yeah, there's the west exit. And out there is... Acidic Valley. Oh, Let's finish exploring this area. Right back into here. Just a little more to look through. Actually, I think it's pretty much it. I don't... I doubt there's gonna be anything else up here that's really of note. Oh! Hold on! There's a roamer! Didn't see that coming. Bam! Huh. What is up in here? Huh. I guess that roamer just had this nest. The null wand. Can sell that. Get a little coin from it. And... Aside from that, there's just the north exit here that leads up into that other area. Alright, let's go back, sell our stuff, and all that stuff. Ah, there's Kaplan. I found and helped those servials you told me about. I'm glad I agonized about whether you were the right shaper to tell. I am glad I trusted you. Got one point of experience. Woohoo. Still, that's taken care of. Next episode, we'll actually go into the fort. We're going to find out a lot of information there, as much as we can. But that'll be in the next episode, so until then, I'm Chessork44, that is Evan, Alwyn, Greta, Vavik, and Min. This has been Gene Forge 3 Let's Play, and I will see you all next time.